Hi, this is Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com and today I'm in our candy room and I wanna to talk to you about making homemade chocolate bunnies. Chocolate bunnies are so easy to make. It's really easy to explain and I know that you can do this at home. The chocolate bunny mold I have right here makes three hollow chocolate bunnies with one pound of chocolate. Step one, cut the mold in half and cut away the frame that is around the mold. It'll look like this when you're done. Step two, melt your Merkins candy coatings. Place Merkins candy coatings in a microwave safe bowl. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Take it out of the microwave, give it a stir, and place it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Keep repeating this process until the Merkins candy coatings has almost completely melted. If you have a few little lumps left behind, drop that interval time down to around 10 seconds at a time. Keep stirring in between intervals, that's super important, until your chocolate is completely melted. Step three, pour the melted Merkins candy coatings into one half of the mold and fill it completely. Take the other half of your mold and put it right on top. Line the mold up as best as you can using the little guides that are on the mold. They kind of look like this. Next, add binder clips all the way around the mold. Once you have the binder clips clamped all the way around the mold, rotate the mold so that the chocolate goes from one side to the other. Tap the edges to make sure that the chocolate gets into the nose and the ears. The goal is to have the chocolate all the way around the entire mold. Once you've rotated the chocolate all the way around the mold, place it in the refrigerator. You might need to use a Tupperware or some kind of container to balance the mold evenly and place it in the refrigerator for about one minute. Set a timer because it's really easy to forget. After your one minute timer goes off, flip the mold over and set your timer again for another minute. Once your one minute timer goes off, flip the mold over and set your timer again for another minute. This is really important to ensure that the chocolate evenly distributes to each side as it sets up. Keep doing this process until all of the chocolate has set up. You'll know when the mold is ready to be released because you'll see almost like a white fog on the mold. Now, if you try to unclamp the mold and it doesn't release, that means the bunny isn't ready to come out of the mold. Once you release your chocolate bunny from the mold, you might have a little seam or excess chocolate that hangs over. Just use a paring knife or a craft knife and trim the chocolate edge so that you have a smooth finish on your bunny. And the coolest thing about making your own bunnies at home is you don't have to just make a small bunny. You can make a big bunny, like this guy. You can shop with us online at confectionaryhouse.com. We offer free shipping on orders over 100. At Confectionary House, we have chocolate bunny molds in all different sizes and all the supplies you need to make homemade Easter candy.